Hey guys, it's Fox, and I'm here with an unboxing slash haul video. Um, I do want to start off by apologizing. Um, I did already film this video, but something happened with my microphone, and none of the audio is usable. It's like really, really quiet and really, really staticky. Um, and that is my fault. I'm really dumb and didn't check the equipment properly, and now we're here. Uh, I also did eat some of the stuff already, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this unboxing, show you what I still have, and then show you and talk about the footage that was already done. I also want to apologize to the company um, because this was one of the best haul videos slash review videos I've ever done because I loved everything in it and um, I really love this website and I was really sad that the original footage kind of got messed up. Their customer service is also incredibly, incredibly sweet, so I feel bad that this isn't as good as it could be. But let's just get started and we will go from there. They were also really, really nice and they decided to send me something extra so I can do a giveaway. So stay until the end to see what the giveaway is and how to enter. So this is a Japanese haul, toys, snacks, uh, housewares, stuff like that. Uh, it's from a website called Candy-san, and I will put a link in the description down below. They are a Tokyo-based company, which means anything you order from them is coming straight from Japan. And they have a lot of limited edition stuff, including limited edition Pokemon plushies, um, figurines, snacks, stuff like that. Uh, they actually sent me like a Halloween type snack too, which is really exciting. And actually everything they sent me was really delicious. I actually already have some stuff on their website that I've put into a cart that I plan on ordering soon. So if you guys were wondering, I am planning on going and ordering things from them. So if that doesn't show that I like them, I don't know what will. But hopefully you guys will still enjoy this video and let me show you what I got. So the first thing I got is this Disney Tsum Tsum candy. It came with a little surprise box in which I got like a little Minnie Mouse. It looks like a stamper or an eraser. I still have yet to figure it out. I, st I believe this side is a stamper, but I kind of think this might be an eraser. I don't know if it's both or if it's just a stamper, but it's something. They come in little silver squares. It almost tastes like orange or pineapple, but they're really good. Definitely a lot like Haichu. I originally thought it was like a nougat. I don't know if you could see right there, but I thought it was like a nougat with nuts, and then I bit into it and I was like, oh no, this is not what I thought it was. It's really good. This company also does like really cute keychains and gosh, gashapons, I think they're called. You guys know I pronounce everything wrong, but they're like little vending machines almost. You put a coin in, you turn the thing, and you get something. So this is the only one I still have wrapped up, but they all came packaged like this, uh, and I struggled to open a lot of them, but it's really cool. Let's start with the first of that. They sent me a Kurokuno basket little figure that came in one of those plastic balls. Um, I think this is Midorima. I'm not sure. I have not watched KNV yet. Uh, I have a bunch of friends who do, um, so this will probably go to one of them. But it's really cute. They had a bunch of different little sleeping versions of the characters, which I think is adorable. I got a chocolate, almost like a Wonder Ball. Do you guys remember those? They're like chocolate and they had candy inside it. Um, I used to love them when I was a kid. But it was a chocolate egg that came with a Pokemon inside. The Pokemon came in like a little capsule thing. The egg was kind of like chocolate with like a vanilla on the inside. I did not like it, which is why I don't have it anymore because it opened and I couldn't really seal it up again. Um, it was very, very sweet. But I got a little Mew on the inside, which is adorable. Um, last time I had one of these, I bought it from, I think it was Chinatown in uh, New York and I got a Wobbuffet, which is fitting, and uh, all you old schoolers know what I'm talking about. But um, yeah, I got a little Mew, and I think it's really cute, and I will put him somewhere, um, but I did not like the chocolate egg. Next, they sent me Pocky. What is a food haul review without some form of Pocky? But if you look at these, they kind of have like a heart, and they're filled, I guess. 
They're strawberry, but they have like a filling in it. The packaging is really, really cute. I don't know if this is like a Valentine's Pocky or something, but I think it's adorable. Um, the stick tried. I mean, it doesn't look like a heart in any way, but they tried. This is actually really good. It tastes like strawberry ice cream, where a lot of the Pocky tastes kind of plasticky to me. This doesn't, it's just, it's good. Oh my God, okay. So this was my favorite item in the entire thing. And one of the reasons that made this one of the best haul videos ever. I got so, so excited in the original video and I'm still so crazy excited, but they sent me a cat hat. I don't know how they knew I had a cat. Maybe they watched my, one of my older videos, but this makes me so happy. And I'm gonna go get my cat and show you guys. So this is Charlie. He likes to fight everything. Uh, this is my kitty, and uh, we're gonna put his hat on. Look, he looks so unhappy. Oh, you're so cute though. This has to be my favorite thing. What's even better is, and I don't think they knew, but I have a Ram Kigurumi, so me and my cat can match, which is awesome. So cute, so funny, and I just, I love it. So next we've got the Halloween item that I said they sent me. They sent me Halloween Kit Kats. Uh, I still have no idea what flavor this is supposed to be. Maybe pumpkin, but it doesn't really look like pumpkin. It looks almost like a jelly or cream or something. I don't know. Um, you can put these in like the oven or the toaster oven. I have not done that, that yet because I don't love these. So, this is what the packaging looks like. They're super cute. I do love trying like Japanese Kit Kats. They look like this. They're like an off-white kind of color or yellow. Yeah, I mean, still don't really love it. It kind of tastes like white chocolate with either cinnamon or like gingerbread flavoring in there. Not really my favorite, but not awful. If you like this type of flavor, it's definitely worth checking out. I wouldn't say it tastes like pumpkin though. It tastes like gingerbread to me. So next, they sent me this really cute Neko Atsume figure. Uh, I believe this cat is called Peaches. He sits on his own little pillow on the big blue pillow from the game. Uh, I love Neko Atsume because it's cats and why would you not? So this was really cute. I keep dropping him. I'm sorry, Peaches. So then there's these. Uh, it's some kind of rose candy. I still don't know exactly what it is. And uh, what concerned me was after I filmed the video the first time, I went on their website to load things into my cart. I saw rose flavored gum and I was like, did I eat and swallow gum or is this candy? I don't know. So this is what it looks like. What's weird is like it's got like a hard shell, but it's chewy in the center, so. To me, this tastes exactly like roses or like rose water. When you bite into it, there's almost something like sweeter or more soury in it. I don't really know how to explain it, but it's more than just plain rose flavor, which is why I would eat these. I don't like the plain rose flavor, but once you like crack it open and eat it, it's better. So, I don't know. A plus reviewing box. They were really, really sweet. And they sent me a fox keychain. It's a cute little arctic fox hanging by a scruff. Um, this was actually not on their website when I originally looked at it. So I think they may have gone out and actually either gotten me this or had it and sent it to me because of the fox thing, which is so, so sweet of them. I really cannot get over how nice this company is. But like I said, this is adorable and I'm absolutely gonna put this somewhere because I love it. So next up is this really pretty candy. I asked them to send this. I was a little worried because it is glass, but they packaged it really, really well. So I didn't have any reason to be worried, um, but it's got like sugar candy in it, like almost like rock candy. And it's got this beautiful reusable glass jar, like I said, um, and the candy in this just tastes like orange and sugar. 
but they have, I believe, three other different jars. One that has cherry blossoms on it and pink candy, one that has uh, an ocean and blue candy, and then another one that I don't remember what it is, but my favorite colors are red and orange, and I love cats, so I was like, I want the lucky cat one. It's good. I mean, it's a very subtle flavor. I like rock candy, so I figured I would try this, and it tastes pretty much like rock candy, so I approve. Next up, we got another Neko Azume thing. I'm really excited about this one because they sent me a metal Neko Azume keychain, and you could get a bunch of different ones, but I ended up getting the Pharaoh Cat, which is adorable. And this is so sturdy, like, I don't even know how to prove to you that this is, like, like, it's hardcore metal, um, with, like, a little rubber cat, which is great because, I don't know about you guys, I always have the problem of, like, the plastic keychains kind of falling off or breaking when I put them on my keys or on my phone, so this will last forever. Probably. I got one more keychain, and it was another cat one. I am sensing a theme, but I love it. Um, I know what brand this is, but I can't remember. But uh, I got this little clear kitty phone charm. It's really cute. I love it. I'm going to use these because Neko Watsume and foxes, like, does it get any better? No. Next up, they sent me some Boku no Hero Academia cards. Oh, I did already rip these open because I love Boku no Hero. Um, Cosplay Way and I, this is our new show, I guess. And it's also My Hero Academia. I was really excited to get these. I did ask them for this and they were like, oh, we may have just sold out, let us double check. So I actually wasn't expecting these cards to come, but they sent me them anyway, which is really, really sweet. And yeah, let's go through them. I got the Metal Weapons Girl. Oh, also, just so you know, I bear, like I know the names of these characters, but I give them all terrible nicknames, so I'm sorry. Um, Birdman. I actually love him a lot, so I'm really excited about that. Some villain. I'm sure I've met him before, but I just, I don't know. Too many arms, dude, who needs a better face. And then, the best of the best, <gasps> Bakugo. I'm so excited about him. He's my explosion child. I call him explosion child. Here's him in his school uniform looking all angry and ridiculous, but then it gets better because here's him in a tank top looking even angrier. Um, so I'm really happy because I got both him in his school uniform and him in a more casual wear, which I love because I will fangirl over it forever. I'm happy. <laughs> So next up is this thing, and I'm gonna tell you, the company was very sweet and they asked what I could or could not eat, which a lot of review companies that I've worked with have never done before. They'll usually just be like, here, take it, review it, whatever. And I often feel obligated to try things that normally I'd be like, eh, I don't really want to. But they asked me what I could and could not eat, and then they sent me soy jerky, vegetarian beef jerky, and I am so in love with this. For those of you that don't know, I am a vegetarian. I used to love beef jerky when I was a kid, especially beef jerky from the Big E, for those of you who know what that is. I used to love it a lot, but I used to get grossed out when I would think about what I was eating or when like the texture was weird or whatever. So basically it was a love-hate relationship. But this is so good. I've been eating it like non-stop since filming. It smells like beef jerky. It comes in these little teeny tiny strips. It tastes like beef jerky. It's very peppery. So if you don't like pepper, don't get this. I actually checked online and their ingredients are basically just like soy, soy sauce, and pepper. And that's like it. What's even funnier is that my mom tried this and she can't make herself eat it because it's too much like real beef jerky. Like she doesn't like, um, the texture and what she's thinking of when she's eating beef jerky. So she won't eat this because she's like, it's too, I can't get over the fact that it might be beef jerky. And I'm like, but it's not, it's literally just soy. The best, um, cause I haven't had jerky in like five years. So this is a treat. This is one of the things that I have filled my cart up with on their website because I'm gonna stock up and eat it all the time. Okay, so before I get to the giveaway part, I'm gonna talk about the stuff that 
I couldn't show because I ate most of it. So to start off, there were these really cool like triangle shaped chili food snacks. They had a pizza on one side, a chili in the middle, and then it had three chilies out of five on the bottom. So I was really worried that it was gonna be super spicy. They were delicious. They tasted almost exactly like pizza Pringles, but with a little bit of a kick to them. As soon as I finished filming, I ate all of them, like immediately. They were delicious. They are also another thing that I have stocked up in my cart. I think I put like three of them in my cart on their website, so I loved it. Next was avocado chips. They're tortilla chips uh, with avocado and cream cheese flavoring on them. They were really good. I also ate those like immediately. Uh, they, I would not say that they tasted like avocado that much. They were kind of like just tortilla chips with this like sweet, but not too sweet covering on them. It was really hard to determine the taste. I mean, it might be avocado and cream cheese. I don't really ever mix avocado and cream cheese together, but really good. Definitely recommend. Um, I will probably be buying another bag of those as well. Then we have a Tales of Zesteria, I think that's what it's called, uh, drink. This was weird. This was really weird. Um, it was completely clear, but it smelled like peaches, but it tasted like water with peaches in it. It was so odd. Um, not bad at all. But then, uh, after filming, it had been sitting open for maybe like 10 to 15 minutes, maybe a little bit longer when I made someone try it. It had been sitting open for maybe like 10, maybe 20 minutes, and it tasted completely different. It tasted very much like pure sugar and fake gross peach taste, which was way different than what it tasted like when I opened it. So drink it when you open it, basically. Then the people at Candy Sun decided to torture me by sending me another jelly drink-like DIY kit. Ugh. I kept the mug because I thought it was really cute. Uh, you could get like four different mugs. I don't watch the series, but I have friends who do. I think it's a series. <laughs> but basically, it was like you fill it up with water and then you put in the powder and it just bubbles up and it's supposed to turn into like a beer. It bubbled up, it foamed everywhere. I'm gonna show you all the clips of me just like trying so hard not to spill this everywhere. And then when I tasted it, it was actually pretty good, which was really surprising. It kind of tasted a little watermelony, but it also kind of tasted like knockoff watered down Red Bull. So it was good. I didn't finish it. I had a couple sips, um, laughed at how the foam got everywhere. I got like a foam mustache. Um, but then I was like, this is too sweet to really fully drink right now. So definitely fun. Definitely my better experience with DIY drink kits. So, you know, good choice, Candy Sun. I appreciate the non-jelly DIY kit. So next we have a Totoro bowl. For those of you who follow me on Twitter, you guys know that I only recently watched My Neighbor Totoro. Um, so the fact that I got this in this review is great. It has a sticker that says approved by Studio Ghibli. Um, it's red on the inside. It's very cute. Uh, it's like a plastic. I like it a lot and I'm really happy that I got it. It's gonna go with my bowls and I'm gonna use it. It's nice and kind of subtle too. It's got like really pretty designs on it and then little Totoros where it's not so obnoxious. It's also got the dust sprites. Um, it's not so obnoxious that someone's gonna come into your house and be like, what is this weeb stuff? Instead they're gonna be like, oh, this is cute. And then if they know Totoro, they're gonna be like, oh my god, it's a Totoro bowl. So, A plus. So now, the most ridiculous thing I have gotten is this little teeny underwear, but it gets better. I know, but Fox, how could it possibly get better from getting tiny, weird striped underwear that have no real use? Well, very smart viewer, it's water bottle underwear. <laughs> I think this is the funniest thing ever, just ever. I think it's so funny. Um, it's supposed to like collect condensation at the bottom of your water bottle. Um, it's ridiculous. I have absolutely left this out around places and have people go, what is that? I'm like, it's underwear for my water bottle. <laughs> so it's really fun. It's good to surprise people, prank people, just be a little bit odd. I don't know. I love it. 
which is where the giveaway comes in. Candy Sun sent me another one, another underwear water bottle, or water bottle underwear, and I'm going to be giving it away to one of you guys. It's completely sealed, I have not opened it, I don't know what color it is or anything like that, um, but in the down below, comment, comment my water bottle is naked. Yep, make sure you're subscribed to this channel because I would really appreciate it, and uh, I will be using a random number generator to pick someone to get this beauty. I will mail it to you, I will message you first, and uh, we'll go from there. Please only enter if you're okay with sending me your address because obviously I need it to ship this. Hopefully someone's excited about this because I am. I think it's fantastic. So yeah, I highly, highly, highly recommend checking out CandySend.com. I will put the link in the description. I want to give another apology to them because they were so sweet and so kind. And obviously I messed up the first take of this video because I'm dumb and their products are amazing. I am going back onto their website to buy more stuff. Their prices are really reasonable. So thank you so, so much for a wonderful, wonderful box of goodies and for a great just haul in general. Anyway guys, this is Fox and this is Charlie. We love you guys very, very much and we will see you all very soon. Are you biting my bracelet? Bye guys.